do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. Alright, so we back with another big body banger, you feel me? Listen, today we are back with yet another reaction video, and today we're going to be reacting to this dude, he's doing a public interview, right? He's asking these Johns, how did they lose their V card? Now, this is always a funny situation. Like, it's, every time I watch videos like this, first of all, I love watching public interview videos. I actually love this channel. I've been watching this channel for probably like three yeah, probably like three years now, honestly. It, it, it used to be like two of them on the channel, but now it's one or whatever. But back to the whole the losing the V card thing, right? This is always an interesting, an interesting thing because a lot of people lie, right? A lot of dudes, they'll gas it up. They'll be like, oh, yeah, I was doing this, this, and this. I was doing the backflip, the helicopter, and everything. You know what I'm saying? First time out. You know what I'm saying? When in reality, they, they hit a little two pump and dump. You know what I'm saying? And then females, girls... They be lying too, I think. But I don't know. Maybe they don't be lying. I don't know. Why would a, what would a girl have to lie about? Like, you know dudes want to gas it up. But girls, they just be saying it's trash or it was weird or something like that. I don't freaking know. So we're going to see what the heck these girls say. I'm actually very excited to watch this. So if you're excited, smash the like button. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And hit the post notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop these bangers. You know what I'm saying? And before we hop into the video... Jura.com, you can buy two and get the third free coupon. Let's say something that else. Let's go. How did you guys lose your virginity? I was actually a bet between a lot of guys, and he oh, took my yeah. virginity, oh. and I had no idea. Whoa, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, hold on. Uh, never mind. There's so many things wrong with that. It was a bet between a bunch of guys. It wasn't just a bet, it was a bet between a bunch of guys. And then she she put the icing on the cake, the cherry on top. It says she didn't even know. That's not funny. That's wait a minute. What are your names? Lana, Mahina, Taylor, Holly, Brianna, Key, Martina, Morgan, Kate, Jess, Spencer, Amara, Kyla, Bria, Senya, Elisa, Daniela, Angela, Sophia, Nina, Victoria, Rose, Haley, Sabrina. I thought you were gonna say some more. Okay. <laughs> How did you lose your virginity? Oh, Jesus. Oh. No, I'm out. I hate that. <laughs> Ooh, uh. F Mom, if you're watching this, don't, don't listen. Okay, so I was actually in eighth grade on my dad's front lawn. Eighth grade? Yeah, it was pretty bad. Get off my lawn. Um. How old is eighth grade? I never went to school. Alexa, how old are you in eighth grade? Eighth graders are usually between 13 and 14. 13 and 14 years old. Okay. On the, the, the front, the front, yard. okay. My f***ed a guy in a bunk bed. <laughs> Top or bottom? He had the bottom. Look at that. How did you guys lose your virginity? To my high school boyfriend, I was 15, and it was on his fire truck sheets. <laughs> we were in high school, it was prom night. High school boyfriend. We were so in love. And we didn't have a private spot to be in. Maybe the woods. Hold up. You said maybe what? Woods. In the woods? Yes. They these people had a little 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 freaky first time. You know what I'm saying? If this video gets a hundred thousand likes, I will do a story time about my first time. I never did a story time about that, but it was it was something. It was something. And trust me, I ain't lying about it. But it was it was something different. I just got to college and I was like really excited to lose it. I just gave it up like low key to the first person that would. <laughs> and I stole his weed. He like low key had a trap house. I stole like two jars. As I exited, I tripped and the glass broke beneath me. And so I stuffed all the weed in my like shirt and then I ran home. That's cold blood. So I didn't lose my virginity until after high school. It was in like a football. <laughs> locker room! Oh. This was locker room talk. How did you lose your virginity? In a car. I was probably like 16. Back of a car. I was dating the guy though. How old were you? 17. I was in the backseat of my car that I still have that's about to break down. It sucked. It was kind of scary. My bad. In a car in a parking lot to like a high school footballer. How did y'all lose your virginity? I have not yet. You're an actual virgin? 23 and counting. What are you waiting for? 
No one, literally anyone. Everything I do is voluntarily, please. In my mom's basement. I was going to my freshman year of high school. He was my boyfriend for like five years, but he's a loser now. Oh. Personally, I will let that slide. I had just turned 16, <laughs> who came over after high school. Started with a little finger thing, and he's like, you want me to stick it in? I'm like, you know what? Go ahead. Yeah, baby. I was ready. It was kind of gruesome. I bled a lot. Way too much information. I I heard that too, that girls, like the first time they be bleeding, that would be, if I was the dude, that would be super weird. Cause it's like, they had, if I was, if it was my first time too and her first time, then I'm thinking I just killed the John. And you know, they be, they be singing in the rap songs, killing the, killing the cooter. You know what I'm saying? Did I just kill the cooter for real, for real? Is it broken? It's bleeding all, and then, now I got blood all over my dangling. Like now, now I'm walking around with a bloody dangling. I don't know. What? I think I was like in high school. What do you mean you don't know? I don't know. I quit. Uh, I can't say that I remember. There's a second person. What the fuck do y'all mean by that? So you don't remember who you f like? Well, okay. Well, don't play my friend. You played yourself. I do, but like, I also, like, it was a whole thing where I just, it, like, it didn't. It, Get it right. It's personal. I'm still a virgin. Yeah, you're capping. I'm not. You I wouldn't have said, oh, it's personal. Like, <laughs> I met a lot of liars in my life. Give me a break. I was 19, almost 20. And how'd you meet him? Tinder. On the night of my high school graduation, so I was 18 years old. He's a piece of shit. And it was also really bad. He did not do a good job. He was too excited about it, so it was short and sweet. How short? So, this, let this be said. Dudes, if you've never done it before, or dudes, even if you do do it now, never be too excited. Be sad about it. Be depressed that, dang, I'm about to clap this girl. Dang. You know what I'm saying? Dang, this is so sad. Don't be don't be excited because obviously girls don't like excitement when... Why am I holding a, a, a highlighter? What are we talking? I'd say like one minute. Hey, I'm not like that, you know. I was actually dating like my high school boyfriend at the time. It was fine for me. I was in love with the person who happened, so I was like chilling. Is he a virgin? Yeah. Aw, oh, that's sweet. I was actually a bet between a lot of guys. Mine's a really This is the one that I want to hear. I want to know what the heck going on. This is what this is what I'm confused about. I liked him, and he didn't like me. I was just a bet. 50 bucks. 50 bucks? I wonder what he spent his money on. Tell him to bring me my money. And he recorded me oh. and sent it to his friends. Oh. I want no ball. Put on his flashlight. Was pretending to like look for something, and I was stupid. I had no idea. And then later I heard everyone saying, like, we saw you. City boy! I was in <laughs> Italy. That is, that is brutal. First of all, that she got played badly, horribly. She got, she... Got her V she she got her V card taken from her by a dude that did not even like her. And the dude, somebody paid him $50 to do it. Like how you how you got how you have to have somebody get paid to clap you. And then you got it was recorded and all over social media. And then she down bad. She's stupid. She's literally stupid. Actually, random man. I was studying abroad. It was this guy from Spain. He was really hot. It kind of just led up to it. It was great, and he carried me. What do you mean he carried you? Like all the way to my apartment. Beta. In my dorm room, freshman year of college. How'd you meet this guy? What happened? No, he was actually. <laughs> My you go for FL. I was like 17 and a half. He didn't even know. He probably knew. No, he didn't. Yeah, he knew. No, he didn't. Was he a virgin? No. Yeah, he knew. Okay, what about you? <laughs> I lost mine in this person's sister's apartment. So my boyfriend at the time had a boat that was docked at the marina in San Diego. So we went there and we opened the portholes because it was getting a little too hot. And there was a wedding going on at the ballroom at the marina. And as I lost my virginity, the band started playing Marvin Gaye, Let's Get It On. Wait, no, wait, what? You're lying. I'm not even capping. Oh, God. What I told y'all about girls not lying about this stuff. She lying. She lying. She ain't clapped no dude with a, with a boat. She got clapped in the woods by a dude that doesn't even own a fishing rod. Uh, on God, on Bible. Now God what? finna have to deal with her talking about on God or on three Bible. Times more. Stupid. This gotta be a joke. Come on, I'm done with these ads though. Come on, bro. I'll lose your virginity. No. 
No. Man, you corny! It was with my best friend's brother. I had a crush on him. It was in the grandma's bed. We were both virgins. Happened in my parents' basement. It was super awkward. Lasted like two seconds. Not enjoyable at all. I was like quadding with my boyfriend at the time. We just had in the woods. In the woods? Yeah. You being dead ass? I swear. How old were you? 17, I think. I mean, it was a high school boyfriend. It was right outside the police station. <laughs> what? I lost it to my second boyfriend at a summer camp. Summer camp at Stanford. How did y'all lose your virginity? Freshman year of college. It was a random hookup like at a party. It was actually here at Water Bar. We went home together and then the rest I is history. Good. I was in my 20s. It was on a twin bed. It was terrible. You the nigga with a twin bed? I was 18. I was in high school. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I had a twin bed up until I moved out of my parents' house. So I had a, tw I had a twin bed until I was 20 years old. Then I upgraded and got myself queen. Now I have a queen. I don't, I don't think anything bigger is necessary. I was just talking to Destiny about this because it's like, you know what I'm saying? You get a bigger bed, then it's just more space. I like to be all up on my, you know what I'm saying? My, little, my, my wife, you know what I'm saying? So, like, getting a bigger bed just means there's more empty space. Like, for what? The queen bed, I think, is big enough where it's enough space I can spread out, you know what I'm saying? I can be, have my legs all open and all this, you know what I'm saying? Do what I got to do. King bed and then a California king is too much space. I don't need all that empty space. 22 and a half. I'm 25 now, so I lost it two and a half years ago. Late bloomer. He pulled me, like, I mean, I trusted him, and like, three months later, he got it. We were in his room, we started making out, shit gets crazy, he's like, are you sure? And I said, yeah. All I remember was we were in the apartment. How old were you? I was 19. I dated girls up until I was 19. It wasn't enough to get me to be like, I want to date a man but you mean not enough credit thank you i was 20 in college it was my first boyfriend it was my birthday and he bought tequila so he knew what he was doing i was just 16 in my first relationship it happened it didn't really happen though what does that mean he tried to put it in it went in whatever and then it just didn't happen i lost mine in the apartment across the street from my college to this guy we had tried a few times didn't work for some reason and then one day it finally just worked and then it, mean it didn't work was it just like uh well, error or your cards declined it was like every time it would go in it would just close <laughs> what do you what do you mean by that We've all been there. A locker room? At the high school. <laughs> y'all couldn't have went to like a hotel? Like a, even a car? I mean, it could have been in the car, but I was like, I don't want to f you in your car. I don't want to fuck you in your car. Let's go to a locker room. Like, <laughs> like, Makes total sense. You were there? Yeah, I was sitting over here to the side. Wait, so you went back to f after you f the nigga? I went back to f then I went back to a man. Back to me. You f the dude and then stole all his weed. Uh, I left an important detail. He like told me like some random excuse to leave me in the middle of the night and so I felt like I deserved like a little bit of reparations. What would you rate the experience? Like a two out of ten. I like, would say like a three out of ten. As good as it could be, maybe like a six. Uh, negative ten. The experience out of ten, maybe like a seven. I've had a lot better since then. What would you rate the experience? I mean like now, four out of ten. How was the wood sex? Uh, seven. It was a ten out of ten, it was great. I mean, I had to rate the experience a ten. I would rate the experience, honestly, like seven or eight. It wasn't bad. I mean, I was like a six, seven. I'm not gonna speak on it because I don't want to like put nobody out there, right? But. Yeah. Oh, shit. You know who you are if you see this. Work on your stroke game, baby. Damn. He was really awkward. Just didn't really know what to do. If he was awkward, why'd you come? I was really drunk. The condom was inside out. That was painful. Was he a virgin too? <laughs> yeah. I was pretty nervous, to be fair. Looking back on it, not super romantic, but at the time I was like, wow, he really loves me. Not at all. At first, I'm not gonna lie, I started crying because I was like, I cannot believe I did that so late in my life. Was it a cry of regret or a cry of happiness? I would say both. <laughs> How was the experience? Now knowing what sex is like, subpar. At the time, it was a good time. Oh, I'm trying to be nice. Um, it wasn't the experience I was hoping for. I have one thing to say though. I wish it was with you. Would y'all change anything she about the way to, you lost? You go black. You never go back. She's trying to go black. She ain't never trying to go back. Okay. Your virginity. One hundred percent. Yes, one thousand percent. No. Oh yeah. Wait, I would have won. I wish it was with you. Would y'all change anything about the way you lost your virginity? 100%. Yes, 1000%. No. Oh, yeah. I would have waited 100%. No. Yes, I would change a lot. If you could, would you change anything about that? No, it is what it is. It happened for a reason. It is what it is. Would you change anything about it? Nothing. Totally. Absolutely. 100%. 0%. No. No, 
I feel like everyone needs that like awkward experience and like it was with a person that I liked a lot. What about you? I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, I would do it differently. No. I dated the man for four years. That was the girl, that was the girl that, that the dude lost the bet and had to clap her. I was in the chat for that lady because she down bad. She's down hysterically. I dated him for like two and a half after that. Oh, 100%. <laughs> no one else, please. No. When I became a member, Bro, who is this bearded was, monster? Get the heck off my screen like with this. Did. Can I you know what I'm saying? Like no, I think it was a good experience. No, not at all. Nothing. Not at all. It's whatever. I don't care anymore. Absolutely not. That's a fantastic story. What would you change? Everything. The person. The person and just how. What would you change about it? The person, the timing, the whole thing. I feel like it would have been better with someone that I didn't know so well. What would you change about it? Probably the location. In a bed? Yeah. Actually, just kidding. No, I wouldn't. How bad it was taught me what I should want and should expect. Would you change the person? Uh, maybe because he cheated on me like after that, so. Not doing it in a car parking lot because he couldn't finish because there's a lot of people there. What would you change? It actually being enjoyable for me. You wouldn't like not to steal the weed? No, not at all. What I would change, it would be with you. Okay. It'd be right here on this concrete gummed floor. Oh, bet. And it would be with this camera on and this microphone attached to my clit. Now I'm gonna sign this. You trying to make a second? Tape? Oh wait, I guess, yeah, sorry. Okay, bet. Like, how much money do you think we make for that? It would be definitely around the, like, five to ten million. If it was us. Well, let me get your number and we should probably make that happen. Yeah, let's, let's get All that right, going. Bet. Was it bad? It was, like, no, the worst experience of my life. We need it. come on, we need the juice. I swear to God, it's too much juice for you. There's no way I can expose that. I'm so sorry. I'm literally just digging a bigger hole. <laughs> can I ask you? What are Go you ahead. doing for? Uh, this is my job. For what? Who do you work for? Myself. Okay, nice. Well, is there anything y'all want to say to like other virgins out there? Stay strong. Yeah, It'll be your time soon. Waiting. Your time will come. Wait, is she actually a virgin or, or is she capping? I literally have no idea. I are are y'all not? He literally does not. Yeah, I believe anything you say. I love you and I believe you. But you, love, you just met her tonight. Yeah, but good we're, vibes. We're best friends already. Yeah. Why do girls pass out the love word so easily? What made you they're cold-blooded liars. They tell you they love you and they really don't love you because they're liars. <sighs> So long. Um, I just feel like I just like waited in to see like who was the right person for me and like who I felt like was the right connection. I did the same thing, but it wasn't the right person. So oh. like, well, but it no. wasn't for me either. It's okay. Were there animals out there and shit or like what? It was like in New York, so no. You see what they just did, bro? You see, you see, you see, you see First what's all, going you on. You know, a woman voted against it too. The, a woman, a white woman. You're a black oh. man, right? You're a black man, oh. right? You see that this oh. is a, it's a race cut, war. Cut, 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 it's a race war. Cut, cut, the, cut, 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 cut the script. We are so off topic. All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm confused what the F they talk about right now. What did this come from? What are they talking about? The white woman voted for this and he's a black man. And what is a race war? What is, what, what is this woman talking about? Woman is the top of abortions. They hide the fact. It's a race war. That is a fact. They don't want us to take over. They don't want black people, black women to take over. White women are getting the most abortions. So it has a lot to do with everything. You're saying they did that they so white women could. So white women can stop killing their their springs. I believe that. They want the white women to not get abortions. I lost it on a carnival ride. You're fucking lying. I don't know where that conversation came. I don't. Where did, where did that conversation come from? What? How did any of that happen, or have to deal with losing your your V card? What the fuck did I just listen to? No, I'm straight up. On oh God. My name is Emily. I lost my virginity on a carnival ride. Okay. Oh my God. She's snorting and shit. Where was the carnival ride at? It was at um. You're lying. I already know you're lying. What's that place? I'm not from San Diego. What's that place down the road? If you're not from San Diego, then how did you lose your virginity here? I'm 17. How did you first lose your virginity? <laughs> what about you? Where the hell you go? <laughs> wait, what? What? Wait, wait. I'm confused. What was? The, what was that conversation? What the? F what the f is going on here? I'm not good. <laughs> she tried to sneak out of here. That's crazy. Is there anything you want to say to the world right now to wrap this up? Hey, everybody just needs to live life and be happy. That's all. She Horrible sound, experience. I'm not gonna lie. She sounds like she needs a cough. Like I'm not trying to roast you tonight, but she sounds like she needs to cough like a like a good, you know. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Just that's what I'm getting.
world right now to wrap this up? Hey, everybody just needs to live life and be happy, that's all. Horrible experience. Sexual abuse is a very, it's a thing. Mm -hmm. Even if you have a partner and uh, you say no, no means no. So uh, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say about that. Oh, that's really bad. What would you change about that? That experience? Yeah. Ooh, you know what? We were in a relationship. I was raised in a, in a church background, church home. It was my own journey with Christ. When I saved myself for marriage, I'm still on that journey, even though I'm not with him anymore. But I would definitely, um, I would tell the authorities and my mom. I didn't tell her for about two years, so I would definitely change that. And uh, that should have been his ass. Did you feel like right after it happened, you it was, it was sexual? It, it was a state of shock, and I felt yeah. I felt my own guilt because I was his partner, and we did agree to wait until marriage. Right. But he wasn't on that kind of time. He wasn't even a virgin. Okay, even though I said no, and he still you know went about it and forced me to do it it was like he's my boyfriend I'm not about to be with anybody else so I, ha I should be with him but that's not actually how it goes so you kind of feel like your virginity was taken from you I mean yes yeah, I'm sorry about that it's all good God is good you know God is good that was that that, that, that the ending kind of threw me threw me off because we didn't hear her story but I'm assuming like something happened where the dude she she ain't want to do it but the dude want to do it and he kind of like Forced it on her, you know what I'm saying? That's bad. Always can consent. Always say yes. No does not mean yes. No never means yes. No means no. You know what I'm saying? But all these other people, I don't... I'm still stuck on the one girl that, that somebody had to pay somebody else to take her virginity. She must be the stupid... The, not the stupidest. She might be... She, she, I don't know what's wrong with her. Because she didn't seem like she was, like, extremely ugly. Now, she's nothing that I would obviously go for. She's, like, in my book, probably, like, a four five or something like that but like to regular people i'm not a regular dude you know what i'm saying i'm very my standards extremely high you know what i'm saying so like to regular people she probably like a seven eight like nobody or not eight seven six seven something like that well y'all rate her in the comments down below y'all let me know in the comments down below but she not like butt ugly where somebody gotta pay somebody else to clap her you know, that's what threw me off you know what i'm saying but that's the end of the video y'all drop in the comments down below how did y'all lose y'alls I'm curious and don't lie. Like, come on, bro. Be realistic, bro. Do not lie to me. I know you ain't do the helicopter ride, take the girl on your private yacht, do the, the triple turnaround, doogie smasher 3000 helicopter style on her. You ain't do all that. Just tell me the realistic story, my guy. How you couldn't get it up. Anyways, um, that's the end of the video. I'm going to see y'all out. Ayo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline They choose I, cause I'm way above you The waves make the haters love you When the ladies come through